After years of being shunned from the royal family for a series of scandals during her marriage to Prince Andrew, Sarah Ferguson has finally made her way back into the firm, well, almost. With her daughter Princess Eugenie de set to marry her own Prince Charming Jack Brooks Spank on October 12th, Fergie, 58, is preparing to face the entire royal clan at her youngest daughter's wedding, and Queen Elizabeth is doing all she can to make sure the once-exiled member of the family doesn't ruffle too many feathers. Palace aides have revealed to Woman's Day Sarah Ferguson has been given a strict list of instructions to adhere to on 28-year-old Princess Eugenie's big day. Fergie has been told she has to sit on Jack's family's side at the chapel, one royal insider tells us. She's also been banned from making a speech, as much as Eugenie would have liked her to, out of fear she may say something untoward or make subtle digs at the family. Woman's Day has also learned Fergie won't be mingling with all the guests at the wedding, and she's been advised to steer clear of certain members of the family including Prince Philip, Prince Charles, and Princess Anne, all of whom still struggle to forgive her past mistakes. Some of the royals have very much forgiven Fergie for her misdemeanors, but the likes of Prince Philip and Princess Anne still don't see her point of view, another palace source tells us. Harry and Meghan invited her to their wedding ceremony, but it was very telling that she didn't get an invitation to their reception, and William and Kate didn't welcome her at all. Of course, the Queen would not actually disallow Fergie from attending her own daughter's wedding, but she's worried disaster could strike if the Duchess doesn't behave herself. The Duchess of York has never shied away from scandal. In 1992, Pictures showing Fergie getting her toes sucked by oil tycoon John Bryan paved the way for her divorce from Andrew in 1996. Then, in 2010, she was famously filmed by News of the World offering an undercover reporter access to her ex-husband for money. But sources close to Fergie say she'll be well behaved on Eugenie's special day. The princess, who has been dating 32-year-old Jack for seven years, is set to say I do at Windsor Castle just like her cousin Prince Harry did, then enjoy a reception at the Royal Lodge, owned by Fergie and Andrew. When it comes to her wedding, Princess Eugenie has spared no expense. And the same goes for her and Jack's honeymoon. Eugenie and Jack are jetting to Madagascar by private plane, which in itself is costing more than $250,000 for the round trip, one palace insider reveals. They're staying at the exclusive 14-villa safari lodge called Mayavana, where they have their own 464-square-meter villa with private plunge pool, 24-hour butler, private chef and two private tour guides and a driver to take them around. After 10 days in Madagascar, they'll take another private jet to the island of Mauritius, where they'll reside at the luxurious one and only resort in the St. Gerin at their most exclusive villa, named Villa One. The Queen has arrived at church without Prince Philip yesterday and was seen in an animated display in her car. Dressed in a royal blue dress coat and matching hat, the Queen was seen raising hand as she sat in the back seat of her car. With one finger in the air, the Queen is seen raising her hand, clad in a black glove, as her fellow passenger looks on and her protection officer in the front seat turns around. But the Queen soon was seen smiling and waving to royal supporters. Flashing her pearl earrings and feathered hat, the Queen accessorized with a pearl necklace and elegant brooch. Although Prince Philip was nowhere to be seen, Prince Charles, 69, and Camilla, 71, were seen driving to the church in Scotland. Camilla, dressed in a pink coat and hat with tartan scarf smiled as Charles drove the couple to church. Throughout the summer, the Queen has been seen regularly attending Craddy Church in Balmoral as part of her annual break. Earlier this month Philip, 97, was seen enjoying a solo country drive around Balmoral. He joined the Queen, 92, in Scotland at the end of August for their annual summer holiday. According to The Sun, an insider said, he no longer shoots after having a stent in his heart a few years ago, but he loves fishing and sometimes stands hour hours in the River Dee. For his age he's as fit as a fiddle. The Queen will return to London soon before heading to Windsor to celebrate her granddaughter Princess Eugenie's upcoming wedding. Prince Philip, 
despite a long-running feud with Eugenie's mother, the Duchess of York, is expected to attend the ceremony at Windsor Castle amid claims the Duke of Edinburgh and Sarah Ferguson have buried the hatchet. And the royal outing comes as Ladbrokes release their favourite odds for the wedding on Friday October 12. The colour of the Queen's hat always generates a flurry of bets, blue is the favourite at 2-1, followed by pink 3-1, orange 4-1, purple 5-1, and green or yellow at 6-1. She wore a lime green hat with a purple feather and matching dress coat for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. A spokesman for Ladbrokes, plenty of punters cashed in on the Queen's last hat but we reckon she'll go back to blue this time out and have cut the odds accordingly. The Queen's visit to church comes after her official bagpipe player left his post for family reasons, leaving the monarchy without a wake-up call. Her Majesty has been without her official bagpipe player at Balmoral Castle for more than a month. Pipe Major Scott Methven left unexpectedly due to family reasons. The bagpipe's wake-up call is a tradition dating back to Queen Victoria. The Queen's first openly gay footman has stood down after reportedly being demoted for courting publicity. Ollie Roberts, 21, was required to accompany Her Majesty on all her carriage rides and carry out other duties like collecting her mail at Buckingham Palace and walking the corgis. The former airman was told he would be bumped down to an ordinary footman after the palace became concerned about his increasingly high profile, with several articles in gay publications. They told him his profile was becoming too high and he wasn't there to draw attention to himself. A royal insider told The Sun. The insider claimed Roberts had considered his future for a couple of days and then decided to step down, feeling angry at his treatment. He thought about it for a couple of days then decided he should quit. He feels badly let down when he was proud to be gay in such a good job. Buckingham Palace declined Mail Online's request to comment on the report. Roberts did not comment to The Sun and has deleted his Instagram profile. The former Ralph Airman made his first public appearance at Trooping the Color in June. Roberts later appeared shortly afterwards accompanying the monarch on her outing for Royal Ascot. He had posted Instagram photos from the grounds of Buckingham Palace hinting at his new role. The appointment of Roberts, who was born in Wales, was heralded as a step forward for LGBT people, who hailed it as another sign the royal family had embraced modern attitudes towards sexuality. The younger members of the royal family in particular have been praised for their stance on the issue. In 2016, Prince William appeared on the cover of Gay Magazine Attitude, and used the chance to speak out against homophobic abuse. No one should be bullied for their sexuality or any other reason and no one should have to put up with the kind of hate that these young people have endured in their lives, he said. The young gay Lesbian and transgender individuals I met through Attitude are truly brave to speak out and to give hope to people who are going through terrible bullying right now. The Queen made similar statements in her speech at the state opening of Parliament this year, which was written by the government. My government will make further progress to tackle the gender pay gap and discrimination against people on the basis of their race, faith, gender, disability or sexual orientation, she said. The Queen Mother had several gay servants, including perhaps her most well-known courtier, William Talon. He spent half a century as the friend, confidant and unofficial master of ceremonies for the much-loved royal. The royal household currently has six job vacancies listed on its website. These include a liveried helper to look after the horses on the royal muse and a sous chef at Buckingham Palace. The Queen's cousin, Lord Ivar Mountbatten became the first member of the royal family to have a same-sex wedding on the weekend. He married his partner James Coyle at a country house in Devon, with his three daughters in attendance. No members of the royal family were present, although Prince Edward, who went to Mountbatten's wedding to his ex-wife Penelope Thompson, sent his congratulations. He was unable to attend in person due to a diary clash.